Hello and how are you? My name is Mahir Bath and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install uh, the COVID-19 management system I mean COVID-19 vaccination management system into your computer So the very first place you need uh, uh, a server and uh, in most time always use the ZAMP if you're using Windows computer So to install ZAMP is straightforward and I'll assume majority of you already have it. So to install ZAMP, you just simply come to internet and search for ZAMP like this. Your computer should be connected to internet and then click on download. Okay, once you reach there, you download this first version, okay, or this one of uh, 7.4, okay, download this version of ZAMP. And then after finishing downloading, you'll have to click on, on the installer and then say yes. And then go ahead and accept everything that they ask you as you're clicking on next 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 until the ZAMP is installed actually i'll attach the link where i explicitly teach how to install ZAMP. but those are the steps that you follow to install ZAMP. you just download this file that i've just searched from google and then after downloading it you install it in your computer to install it is simple you just simply click on next 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 and then to be fully installed so once you have your ZAMP installed in your computer now you can start it to start it you just go to your computer where there's applications and search for ZAMP you'll see it and then click on it to start so when you start it will normally bring you something like this for me I'm using Mac and I guess you're using Windows majority and uh, it will get you something like this not this exactly but something like this that will have the word Apache and uh, MySQL. So you have to start those two. You just click on Apache and click on Start. And while there is MySQL, click on Start. And they should show a green light. And once they show a green light, it means that your Apache and MySQL have successfully installed. So to do what to do next is now to download the source code that I've shared with you. And I hope you've got it, okay? So once you have that source code, you have to copy it and put it in the right place where it's supposed to be put. So to do that, you go to your disk C and you go, you, 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 okay, you open your computer, okay, where there is this computer or my computer. And then you click on disk C and you go where there is ZAMP. Uh, you say folder called ZAMP, click on that ZAMP folder and then you click on folder called htdocs. It's having the name like this one, htdocs. Click on htdocs and you'll be able to access a place where you save your what? Your projects. So this is what for me I have in htdocs. Let me delete this so I can explain it clearly. Okay. Okay. So for me this is what I have in my htdocs folder. So this is htdocs, okay? Make sure that you open htdocs. So I'm going to create a folder. So create a folder called Corona. Right click on it and then say in the htdocs folder, create a folder called what? Corona. Oh, don't even, okay, don't create a folder. Don't create a folder. Just copy the zip file that I've given you, okay? Copy that zip file, mine is here, and paste it here in htdocs. Copy wherever you, 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 you downloaded it to and paste it here in htdocs. So once you paste it in htdocs, just double click on it, I mean, right click on it and click on unzip. So for me, it is here, so I'll just double click on it and then to start unzipping or extracting, okay? So it is extracting, but while extracting it, you're extracting it in what? In htdocs, okay? So you can see here, is my htdocs and has finished extracting. Now you can see here, there is my piece of codes, okay? And uh, there's a htdoc, I mean there's a, a folder of XAMPP I mean, not follow called Corona inside htdocs. Okay, so this is the zip file that I just downloaded. I unzip it inside htdocs. I hope what I'm trying to say is straightforward. Okay, so once you have that, you go to your local host. I mean, you go to your browser like Google Chrome, and then you type the word local host, and then you put stroke. But for me, I have some ports, another port, so I have put 88. But for you just type the word local host as it is and put stroke and add the word corona okay so once you add the word corona you'll be able to get this okay can you see 
we want to get is the landing page so once you have this landing page it means that uh, you have successfully uh, installed or imported the code that I gave you but one more thing is creating the database just one more thing okay so once you have this running okay so what remaining with is creating the database okay so to create a database you just simply come to localhost just type the word localhost once you type the word localhost you will see a button with the word you'll be taken to a page and there will be a button in this right top corner you will see a button with the word uh, php admin click on that php admin you just simply type here the word localhost and press enter okay and then you will see a button the word php admin so when you click on php admin you will be able to get something like this okay something like this okay so once you have this php admin you create a new database click here on new and then type the word corona as it is here and then say create okay so once you have this corona created you have to import the database so to import the database simply click on the word import and then click on uh, import file okay so you go to your htdocs and import the file okay so for example my htdocs is uh, come in desktop and then come to htdocs you see this is the htdocs just go to the file that you unzipped mine is here it is corona you'll find an sql file the file named as corona.sql okay this one corona2.sql that's the database and then click open corona2.sql that one eh? then click open and then click on go on go to process And should show 116 quarters exposed successfully so if you click here you should be able to see all the tables okay so all the tables are there so now let us go back now to our project which is on localhost stroke corona and if you refresh and try to log in so I'll try to log in this is the home I'm going to log in so click on login and then give the username as admin and password as 4321 and then click on login oh there's some issue oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah database my database my database is using the word root so i have added the word root okay and save okay my database has password of root but yours i don't think it has it so so you may keep it the way it is in the environment file so if i come and refresh i should see that i have successfully logged in okay that i'm successfully logged in so that's how we create that project i mean that's how we import the project okay so that's how we import the project make sure that up to that point you can access everything as it is so uh we meet in the next video now where i'm going to explain how to implement this project. Thank you for watching.